National Manifesto Committees. I am most grateful to welcome all of you, including members of the media, uh, to the formal inauguration of the campaign team, the campaign committees, and the manifesto committees. The MPP has been engaged in the process of various elections towards the 2024 elections. We had our polling station elections, you know, our electoral area coordinators, constituency, regional, national elections, and then we had our parliamentary primaries, our presidential primaries, uh, and all of that has been done. On November the 4th, we elected today, um, following um, the announcement of the campaign teams and the manifesto committees, we thought that we should have a combined inauguration of both committee, both, both teams, because it is really a single purpose objective for all of us. We are going for the 2024 election in the, on December 7th, and we need a combination of everybody. Uh, the manifesto committees will come up with the manifesto. The campaign committee will come up with the campaign strategy and execute the campaign. So the two sides, uh, the message that we're going to go out with, to the campaign is going to come up from the manifesto committee and, and all of that. So it is very important that we are making sure that the, 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 the two committees are, are being inaugurated uh, jointly today. And I think it, it makes a lot of sense that we are doing so. In doing so, we are also very aware that one of the keys to victory for MPP in 2024 is unity. It's the most important key to victory. It's unity. And putting together all of these committees, we have been cognizant, listening to the advice of our elders and so on, to make sure that we do not leave everyone behind. We have over 40,000 polling stations. And so, we want activity in 40,000 polling stations. We want the entire membership fully involved in the campaign. So I said that I will probably have 40,000 campaign managers, at least, because every polling station we will have a campaign manager there. You know, so we, we, we want involvement across current executives and past executives. We don't want to forget the past executives. They are very important. They have a major role to play. And so this is why we have special outreach coordinators who are going to try to make sure everybody is involved in that. Um, and the core committees, as, as have been outdoored, you will find membership is going to be drawn from across the country into those committees. All the national executives will be part of all the committees so that we can have everybody pushing in the same direction. So if anybody thinks they don't have work to do, then maybe there's a mistake because we have more work than we have people. So please, we, we need to make sure everybody is engaged and involved. I want you all to to rest assured that if we all pull together by the grace of God, it is possible. We are going to win. We have the message, we have the vision, and we have the record. It is very clear the exhilarating speech that was given by the president at the State of the Nation yesterday, as I listened to him. It was very clear that our government has outperformed the NDC government in every sector. I mean every single sector. I 
can see one sector where they have outperformed us. But every single sector, whether you are talking about jobs, whether you are talking about roads, whether you are talking about hospitals, whether you are talking about schools, across or well, digitalization. <laughs> across every single, it's amazing that you're going for a contest with your opponent to get to be promoted to the next level or what. And meanwhile, when you start the exam, you beat them in every single subject. <laughs> meanwhile, they are trying to convince the public that they are better than you. What sort of mathematics is that? I mean, really? You score 70%, they score 30%. And they are trying to say their 30% is better than you. It, it doesn't make sense. So in terms of the record, we are, our record is superior. And we are going to put it out for public scrutiny, as the president mentioned in the performance tracker, which Kojo uh, Pongkuma will launch very soon for us next month, the performance tracker. Our record is solid. Uh, and, and it is there for everybody to see. Our vision has been clearly laid out and it will be reinforced by the manifesto. We know where we want to take the country. It's very clearly laid out vision. Our opponents have a very blurred vision that they, they really don't know where they want to take us. They are announcing promises of things that we have already done. Do you hear that they want to do free Wi-Fi in senior high school? Can someone tell them that it has already been done? I mean, just whisper. A little research, they would have known. But they are promising things we have already done. It tells you that they are running out of ideas. When you start copying ideas of your opponent and try to present them as yours, uh, it tells you they are running out of ideas. So, in terms of the vision and the ideas, we have the vision and we have the ideas, new ideas, and we are trying to, to implement them. Uh, we have the message. So, I believe that the ingredients that are necessary for us to win the 2024 election are in place. And if we all pull together, we are going to do so. And I'm we are wasting no time. Uh, people say it looks like I'm in a hurry. Yes, we are in a hurry uh, to, to, to make you know, a mark and to move this country forward. We, we, we have not wasted any time in putting together our campaign team. We have not wasted any time in putting together our manifesto team. And we are not going to waste any time in getting into the action to campaign in the country. And that is where we are headed. So I am very, very happy that today we have come together uh, and to inaugurate these two very important committees, uh, the Manifesto Committee and the Campaign Committees uh, as part of the wider campaign team. So let me, first of all, uh, start with the campaign team, which is going to be chaired by the indefatigable Dan Kwekubuji uh, because the president called me indefatigable <laughs> so, and, 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 and he will really uh, help us steer uh, this campaign with the, uh, with the uh, Opariansa as manager I think they will work very well together so uh, let me let us by acclamation um, Clap into inauguration. Yeah. <laughs> and similarly, the manifesto committee is being chaired by Asechi Mensa Bonsu. Uh, he's always, I always call him leader, so he will be leading still from the manifesto side. Leader, you will, you will be chairing. We expect these two teams um, to, to drive these processes. You know, after today, if you want to 
speak about the campaign, please go to Dambochi. Uh, if you want to speak about the manifesto, go to Osechi Mesabusu, and they will, will guide you on the way forward so that we have some clarity on, on what we are doing. But I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited about the future. We cannot be complacent, but by the grace of God, it is possible. We yes, it is! elections 2024. The marching orders have been given, clear direction, clear objective, and I'm sure everybody here has clear in their minds what the mandate is going for. We will invite the chairman of the manifesto committee, Honorable Oseche Mesa Bosu, to give us a quick response. Please put your hands together for you. <laughs> Excellency, Vice President of the and our presidential committee. The chairman of the party, the general secretary, the leadership of the party, colleague, ministers, members of parliament, and all other protocol to the object. We've listened to our father, and as he said, the road to winning the presidential general elections on December 7th, 2024, is being laid out to us. The world will know that the government is elected to solve problems within the economy in order that ultimately the citizens of today and tomorrow shall enjoy the blessings of liberty, equality, opportunity, and prosperity as captured in the preamble of our 1982 Republican Constitution. In this regard, the presidential candidate is required to make strategic, macroeconomic, as well as social policy and structural decisions and interventions in order to achieve optimal development especially in the areas of growth and employment, given the fact that available resources of the country are limited. But as an economist, our candidates is fully aware of our governments. At the end of the day, it was translating the resources of the country into human purposes. The Vice President has a vision about how best to achieve this, especially within the space of the allocation of financial resources to engender even unbalanced development of all regions, every part of each region, and in particular improving the conditions of lives in the rural areas. This is the shortest way of sustaining the unity and stability of our country. And it's important that the Vice President, our presidential candidate, sits down with us to share his vision. All of us, whatever we are going to do, would have to dovetail into the campaign and also the manifesto that we are going to craft. In that regard, let me begin by asking us, because already I've heard snippets of some people speaking to radio and television and other forms of media as if belonging to the campaign committee or belonging to the manifesto committee really is about yourself, it's not about yourself. It's about the presidential candidate. Whatever we do, we have to dovetail into his own vision. And I'm sure, and I can't 
can bear testimony to the fact that his office to quote the Honorable J. Benson does not suffer from cataract in one eye or a coma in the other. <laughs> his own vision is crystal clear. I believe that if you follow him, he will make all of us fishes of men. And should I add, would <laughs> So, colleagues, we are all here in Gannett to contribute our quota to shape his own vision. Clear? And to work towards a common cause of winning the presidential and general elections of December 7th, 2024. Let everybody be part of this enterprise, a very noble one. As he said, by way of conclusion, it is possible with God on our side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Leader. Please let's meet again for At this point, we will invite the chairman of the committee, the flag bearer said, the only general, or the general of generals, <laughs> Honorable Dan Buchi, to also give us the response as the chairman of the campaign committee. The chairman of the campaign committee. Thank you. Thank you very much. The National Chairman for the New Patriotic Party. Excellency the Vice President, General Secretary, National Members of the National Executive, Chairman, Members of the National Council. Executives, you could all reach that chairman. Honorable members of parliament, honorable ministers of state, distinguished party figures. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, standing here, I can see, I have some small advantage that I can see people who I know work with work even in the UP tradition. <laughs> I know those who work directly with Professor Buzia in the previous party. Some are in this room. Then I know PFP, UNC people, they are here. I can see those who organize the particular party into being. Those who use their resources to buy. We are the only party who bought and owned our party office. <coughs> Of our own money for the position. I can see those who did good champion, first stretch. I can see them here. Then I can see all those who have been involved in the service in different, different ways that people didn't know. They are all here. So, Mr. Vasquez, you said that it is true. We have the people, and we have always had the people. Then, we have a former president, President J. Ekofor. Just the day we become president, we work through the system to become president. If you talk about even the current republic, his involvement in 92, his involvement in 96, you shall see him his mother pick up touring the country only to the country as a candidate. And then later on, having a, a red Nissan patrol touring the whole country. Then he becomes president and he serves good eight years. We have him there. Then we have a certain person, Manalo Danko and Kufwa. Commander in chief. He just started touring the country very well from 98. So he knows every part of Ghana. Then he has become president and will be president for another eight years. It is said in Akanda, Winnipeg, and So we have it. People from UP, two previous party to this age. And we have two sitting, two former presidents. All part. Then we have a vice president, 
The president is currently studying as indefatigable for eight years. So starting from there, as all the others I can see, and those who were young some time ago who are now old, and then very youthful, youthful ones too here. A campaign is the management of resources, the human resources and other resources, following a campaign plan to achieve your objective. Thank God you have the resources. Ones, not just names, people individually and collectively we have distinguished ourselves. And so, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the National Coordinating Campaign Team, and the word is coordinating. Mr. President, you said it. You said it's from 30, 40, almost 40,000 police stations. We are all involved in the campaign. The officers and all the members, and even those who may not necessarily be directly MPP members, are all part of our campaign. We are going to use all resources within and outside the party and do a disciplined effort. Campaigns can be chaotic, but the key thing is discipline, focus. We are a conservative party. We believe in people freely speaking their minds. There will be cross pollination of ideas. But as it is done in all places, we always they say they call three days. We will debate among ourselves, we will discuss. At the end of the day, we will take decisions. And when we take decisions, all of us will apply the discipline and move forward. You can have stars in the football team. Very good one. We have a chief footballer here. You can have stars. 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 But if they don't submit themselves to discipline, and the guidance of the plan or the coach. You can have very good brand stars, and yet you cannot uh, win the, the, the game. I believe all of us will be guided by the values of the party. We shall all follow the details of our leader. We shall work together. It is new patriotic party campaign. New patriotic party campaign. So it's not as if there are some people call campaign before and then it's a party people. No. It is new patriotic party campaign. And on behalf of all the team, we thank you so much, Mr. Vice President, and the leadership for the honor that this. And we promise that we work very hard to make sure that we will achieve our objective. Being that, we shall win the majority of the 235 seats in Parliament. Yeah. We shall now! And we shall win well over 50% of the presidential votes. It is, it is. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, make input into the various sector manifestos. And just as has always been said, and leader said, the manifesto is one that is going to be for the people. And so if you have an input, if you have an idea, the manifesto committee will be putting out some addresses, and then you can duly make your input. At this juncture, the event is coming to an end. We shall call on our national chairman to go. The national chairman to give us the closing remarks. Of course, we cannot meet without saying the party act. So let us all do it. Where is it? DJ Kali. <laughs> <laughs> we are the new, we are the new patriotic party. We are the new, we are the new patriotic party. The elephant is a way to save. We shall win. We shall win to save Canada. The elephant is a way to save. We shall win, we shall win to save Ghana. We shall win, we shall win. We shall win. We shall win. We shall win.
before you, Ya Allah. We pray that you make him president of the Republic of Ghana. Ya Allah, you bestowed him with wisdom, with intellect, with acumen, and with humility that he may serve my country. Ya Allah, we call you in 2024 to make that manifestation possible. Ya Allah, we present all of our campaign team before your mighty throne. Give us a sense of discernment, a sense of wisdom, a sense of correct judgment that whatever decisions we shall take in our various communities, that they shall be the correct decisions, that they shall endure to the benefit of the new patriotic party, that ultimately they shall give us victory in December. When we are victorious, we shall continue to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iza jaa'a nasur Allahi wa al-fatuh. Wa ra'ayta al-nasa yalhuluna fi al-deen Allahi al-afwajah. Fasabih bihamdi rabika wa astaghfiru. Inna hu kiana tawwabah. Rabbana atakabal minna innaka anta samiru dua. Wa ahiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi wa bil'alameen. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amayasifu. Wassalamun ala al-mursalim. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Amen. Amen. From one sex, we said there was a special person missing from the meeting. And the special person.